Howdy, howdy, my fellow gamers, and welcome to this week's 60 second review. Back to the lightning fast and quick, not 10 minute re reaction, re review video. Though you should check that one out too. This week we're closing in on the end of the original Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Starring the same star set of cast as before and still directed by Gore Verbinski. Nothing really changed in this action packed sequel in terms of things to talk about before we get started. So, five categories to rate. 60 seconds on the clock, and go. Story. Picking up where two left off, we see Cutler Beckett dominating the seas with control of Davy Jones, and the pirates venturing to Davy Jones' locker to save Jack Sparrow to bring him back to help fight Cutler Beckett and save piracy before pirates become extinct. Introducing the goddess of Calypso in the story in the fantastic final sequence, no wonder it's the fifth most expensive film ever made, Story will receive a 10. Sound. If you guys have watched the other two reviews of the first two pirate movies, you already know what I'm about to give sound. Nothing has changed. It's still impeccable. Fireworks, cannons, stabbing, big ass Storm, cracking masts, fantastic soundtrack, etc. etc. Sound gets a 10. Cinematography, Shipwreck Cove looks so cool. David Jones' locker was well done. The final battle in the Maelstrom was awe inspiring. The visuals, the CGI, all of it impeccably done. Seriously, this movie was great. 10. Acting. With Depp launched into stardom by this trilogy, he really owns the role in his performance. And Knightley and Bloom, having gained experience, especially with Lord of the Rings, they come into their own. Everyone else, like Gibbs and Barbosa and Beckett, played their parts exactly as needed, and the movie never faltered. For acting receives a 10. Length. Clocking in at 2 hours and 48 minutes is the longest movie in the trilogy, but it's also the most action-packed. Story-driven, crazy one out there. Pacing is well done, it doesn't slow down, it isn't boring, it's a good time start to finish. Some people complain that it's too long, but I love a movie that takes a good chunk out of the day, like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. So with all that said and done, Length will receive a 9. And time! Ooh, so close to our first ever perfect 10 movie. Or game! Final average score for Pirates of the Caribbean Outworld's End is a 9.8. Let us know what you guys thought of Pirates of the Caribbean Outworlds in, in the comments below. We did it for a community Discord movie night, so feel free to join the Discord and join for a movie night sometime. We will see you all next week with a game review. Feel free to check out the links down below to support the content creation dream, and as always, stay freaky.